Hi guys, Miss Jess here at the Ross Memorial Library. Just coming to you to give you the grand tour of our garden. We have some very pretty tulips. Very pretty holly. And here we have some hostas, some daylilies. This is going to be a black eyed Susan. And come around here. This one is a dogwood. You can get those pretty colors on that dogwood. I'm not sure what this one is. Those are hostas. labeled a lot of them up here. She's done a wonderful job in her garden. Thundercloud plum tree. It's really pretty. Some kind of ground cover here. I think those are columbine. I'm pretty sure this is fox. Look how pretty they are. Look even prettier on some of the color. I'm not sure what this one is. Oh my goodness, it's quite pretty. I'm wondering if it's a type of sedum. Some clocks, corbels, the still. I'm not sure if I say that right, but. Some more houses. I believe this is a fern. Some more dogwood. Those are irises and they're about to have a pretty flower. I'll have to come back out later so you guys can see what they look like when they're in full bloom. Making my way around here. Beautiful, beautiful garden. I'm not sure what these are, but I'm, might be some kind of flowering bush. If you take a trip, maybe you can come out and just walk around and see pretty flowers. These ones are quite pretty. Oh, she has a label here. This one is a Scarlet Storm Thornless Quince. I think I might have to add one of those to my flower garden. Maybe these might be some more daylilies. I'm not sure what this one is, but it's quite pretty. We all know what this one is, right guys? Lilac bush. This one is lavender. Lavender has a very pretty smell to it. Some ornamental grasses. Here in the front. I'm 
This one is called Hellebore's Lenten Rose. And I know this one right here, because I grow this in my own garden. And see how their like spikes are pretty definitive. This is called bee balm. Now, guys, bee balm is good for those who have allergies because it has a very strong smell when the leaves are broken. You can also turn it into a tea or use it for an incense. room somewhere and it'll really make a nice smell for those who have allergies or just make it into a tea or pour it out here in the front. Our pretty library in the back here. These here are peonies. I have some growing at my new house. They are very pretty and very nice smelling, but they do attract ants. This here, believed to be echinacea. Don't quote me on that and see if I can find the tag. It certainly looks like a coneflower. No, no tag. But aren't they beautiful? We'll have to find out for sure what they are. Another bush. Oh, back there. I'm pretty sure those are lilies. Let's see here. It says, um... Ghost Isaac Lily. Yep, they're Lily. So when they come in bloom, I'll have to come back out and show you guys what they look like. Pretty sure this is more still. Like again, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But they get these tall, like, very pretty stalk flowers. These are petunias, I'm sure, like a mini variety of petunia. They're pretty. This, I believe, last year was echinacea, which is a coneflower, and it can also be turned into a tea. It's a very nice tasting herbal tea. Let's see here. Coneflower, yep. Purple coneflower, echinacea. It can also be used to relieve stomach aches. If turned into a tea. It also helps prevent colds. And that's a red maple tree, Japanese maple. I'm not sure what this one is. It's pretty though. I can't make out what it says. A golden flare azalea. Oh, I have azaleas at home, but I never seen a yellow one like this. Quite pretty. Some more potted hands. Another one on the other side to match. Some more peonies. I'm not sure what color these will be, but they should be blooming soon. This is another azalea I can tell by the leaves like it already was in bloom and we missed it for those of you who didn't get over here to the library and just take a look and uh, some ornamental grass blue-eyed grass I actually managed to find myself some I was in such a awe with these because they the flowers they're labeled blue but they're actually purple it's hard to tell it's hard and they're actually a purple flower and uh as you know, my favorite color is purple. 
This one is going to be a tall flox. Coming in quite nicely. Some more corabels over there in the corner, and azaleas. Some more of the ornament grass. If I'm correct, this might be a creeping time. Yes, it is. And also, it has like purple flowers on it as well. And uh, can also be eaten for uh, recipes and so forth. It's a wonderful uh, ground cover. Quite pretty when it gets filled in. Oh, here's some more the flowers that are actually. You can probably see it a little bit better on this one. Much better in person than on camera, though, guys. All view of the, the library here. Well, I think that's about the end of our uh, tour. There's some tulips here that were once in bloom and now are dying off. I think those up front here might be uh, Dicinius and uh, Mini Carnation. Alright, have a great day. Bye bye.